Becky, we need to wake up. That is the one. If you didn't watch yesterday's episode, you would have missed this, but we went to the UK's best service station. It was amazing. There was a farm shop, and this, oh, by the way, also, check out this. This is a possible new merch item. From the farm shop, I purchased some beef and tomato sausages. Sausage party, sausage party. We're gonna have a sausage, a party, a sausage. I am the sausage queen, the sausage queen is me. Ha, ha. Sausage queen, sausage queen, sausage. <laughs> How do you like your sausages cooked? Frying pan. Frying pan, nice. Adam likes a little bit of brown sauce, not a lot. Breakfast is served. You are a genius. Thank you. Look at them go. That is the one. Mm. 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 We've got views to see, walks to be had. Yes, we do. That is where we're parked up, just over the back there. And right here, we have already got these views. So we're in the middle of the Lake District. We're parked in a National Trust car park and it costs 10 pounds to park for the night, which is pretty good. As soon as we're out of the car park, this is what we're greeted with. But the reason why we're here is because yesterday we rang up a campsite. They said, yeah, just turn up anytime before 9 p.m. is fine. So we took two hours to drive there, turned up, it was only about 5 p.m. They didn't answer the phone, couldn't get a hold of anyone. So they basically wasted our time. So we took the opportunity to borrow some of their water, which <laughs> was interesting since it's the first time we've done that. I believe this is the accessory that we need. Da, 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 da. There's the other campers up in the background. That's too big for that. Is there different ends to it? Oh, this one's smaller. Mm. Okay, she is secure. That goes in there. It's not going to fall. Oh no, a bot! A bot! It's something to do with this down here. Oh, oh. that geezer's going to come over <laughs> it. Oh, it's got a pushy thing. <laughs> What's the pushy thing all about? This is a living nightmare. <laughs> Insert the nozzle and action. Is water coming out of it? Yeah. Yes. As you can see, we have a hands-free operation running very steadily to secure the water in the van. Pretty much there. Of course, like wrestling a snake. This is what van life is about. Nature is so nice out here, honestly. Is that a tampon? No. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Oh yes, so it is. A wild tampon in his natural habitat. What are you taking a picture of, Becky? Bark. Woo! What'd you do that for? I was just following orders. <laughs> Either that or that puppy shampoo is still bringing out the dog inside <laughs> me. Honestly, if you didn't see yesterday's episode, I made a horrendous mistake when I bought the wrong shampoo. It was puppy shampoo or dog shampoo. <laughs> But, honestly, it smells well nice. It's like marzipan flavour. Ugh, it's delicious. I highly Ooh. recommend it. Meet me at the crossroad, crossroad, crossroad. Meet me at the Hang crossroad, crossroad. Hang on. Hang on. No time for fun and games now, Becky. Oh, wait. That's blank. <laughs> All right, around the other side of it. Waterfall. Don't go chase the waterfall. <laughs> 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 we found it! How do we get there? It's been a complete disaster. <laughs> We've got to a bit where you can see the waterfall. It's just down there and the pathway comes all the way up here where you can get to it. But there's a sign saying that they've shut the path because of some fallen tree. Do you think I'd be able to maneuver the drone through all the trees <laughs> and get a close-up shot of the waterfall? No.
like that. <laughs> she returns home. So it turns out we didn't really need to fly the drone. No, but we've located the waterfall from the other end. <laughs> what a lovely bit of nature. Yeah, we haven't done proper naturing for a while. It feels good to get outside. Yes, it does. We've seen more than one waterfall, which was quite a nice surprise. Don't know how far away we are from Zimolterholm. I thought we were in the jelly bean then. I was gonna say the jelly bean. For those who are new to the channel, by the way, I usually drive a micro camper van, tiny little thing. This motorhome is just with us for a week. So if you're thinking of subscribing just to see the motorhome, don't. If you're gonna to subscribe to see the absolute crazy lunacy that appears on this channel on a mostly weekly basis, hit subscribe. I'm so excited we're nearly back at the motorhome. For once we get to get into a vehicle with heating, a giant bed that's already laid out, oh. and the ability to stand up and make snacks. Snacks! So I'll make some snacks. No, Becky, I'm gonna treat you. Mwah. Oh, I forgot, I've already been at this. Victoria, today you will eat like a queen. Oh. You may pick one. Wow. One's for me. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. So this next part of the video, we're gonna talk about some technical stuff. So if you're only here for the entertainment, you can look on the little slider at the bottom of the video and skip to the next chapter and continue with the fun. But for those who wanna know about off-grid power, whilst Becky is probably getting over how incredible that snack was, today I thought I'd go over four different power stations. And this is not so that we can find the best out of all of them. I'm just going to show you the pros and cons of each one. So this is the first one, the Bluetti EB55. So a couple of things that I really like about this one is it actually has a wireless charging station on the top. So if you've got a phone which is pretty new, you can stick it on the top and it's going to charge without wires. That is what wireless charging means, if you didn't know. On the back here, we've got a light. I also love this feature because some of the power stations come with this little round light. It's like a spotlight and I just never found a use for it. But this one, don't show me up in front of my friends. There we go. It's got a light and it's a nice soft light. It's lighting up pretty much the whole motorhome and it's not so powerful that it's gonna blind you. Ah! And I've actually found that really useful. I also love the fact that some power stations are really difficult to carry. They've got handles in awkward places, but these, this is the perfect solution with these Bluetti ones because the handle pops out, easy to carry, they're nice and lightweight, and it just folds away again. On the front of this one, you'll see we've got two main sockets. We've got four standard USB sockets there and a USB-C socket and that is one of the powerful USB-C sockets, the 100 watt versions. So you can plug the laptop directly into that without having to have a separate plug and you can also do fast charging with your phone without the three pin plug as well. Cable straight into there. As well as that there is this 12 volt DC socket. That's the same as a normal socket you have in your vehicle and this over here is just the input. I'll talk about the different charging options after I've gone through all four of these power stations. So next up, my lovely assistant, Victoria. Thank you. This one's by Power Oak, but then it says Bluetti underneath it. And also they have the name Max Oak. I think they just have three different names for their company for depending on which region you're in. But this is the Power Oak Bluetti EB70. It comes in this incredible jelly bean blue. I believe they also do it in gray and possibly black as well. But this is basically the big brother to the EB55. It's also got a wireless charging on top. This is the input to charge up here, which again, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. This is one of the lights which I am not the biggest fan of, but the other one I prefer. Some people might like this though, depends what you wanna use it for. It's just a standard light. Again, this one has two plug sockets. It has two standard USB sockets, but two powerful 100 watt USB-C sockets. And it has that 12 volt cigarette lighter socket in there as well. Now again, because it's the same sort of product, I love the design of this one. It's all compact and it has that folding handle. And also the screen, I like the screen on this. I didn't mention it's the same screen on the last one, but it's just a nice easy display to look at and it's so clear what's going on there. You've got your battery percentage, your output and your input so clearly there. So you just take one little look and you know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, the, the trusty EcoFlow. Eco 
So this one that you've probably seen a lot of times in my videos, this is the EcoFlow Delta 2. Now for a lot of people, this may be a better design because you can put this flat up against a wall that might be here, and then you've got different sides to access all the plugs. And I know for a fact that this thing is reliable because it's one that I use all the time. Now it can run appliances up to 1800 watts, which is huge already, but they have something called X-Boost mode, and that means that you can run some appliances up to 2400 watts. So really with this thing, you're gonna run pretty much 90% of anything you own. As for sockets, this thing has two standard USB. It also has two fast charging USB sockets and it has two of those high powered USB-C sockets that give out 100 watt each. So again, for that, you can just stick your laptop in without the three pin plug or your iPhone or whatever you want. So on the back here, we have four three pin plug sockets and the inputs to charge it on the top here. And then down below, we have that 12 volt plug socket as well. And again, just like the Bluetti Power Oak Max Oak editions, the screen on this is brilliant. It gives you all the information that you wanna know on there. It's gonna tell you exactly how much battery's left. In fact, these ones go in blocks of 10%, so the Bluettis and all that, they'll show you 100%, 90%, 80%. This one actually shows you exactly what it is. So you've got 73% on there, for example, now. And then it shows you your input and your output and how many hours you've got left to run things as well. And this one is an absolute tank. It's called the S2000 Pro and it's by a company called All Powers. And I'm just gonna quickly show you the back here because that is where you charge it up from your mains in the house. And other than that, everything is on the front. So we've got up top here, four house sockets. These are the three pin normal plug sockets that you find in your house. It has a nice display as well. This one has the percentage so that you get that fully accurate reading. And down the left there, it also has a battery bar with five sections in it. I guess that's just for a quick glance so you can roughly see where you're at. It's also gonna show your output and your input. Now you have the 12 volt socket on the side here, which is the one that you find in your vehicle. You also have two USB-C sockets. And again, they are the 100 watt versions, just like all of these power stations. You do have to watch out for that because some power stations will give you a USB-C and they won't be 100 watts. So they're not gonna fast charge your phone or charge your laptop. Below that we have four standard USB sockets and then we have the lights here. That's just the power switch. That tells you when the AC's on and this one tells you when the DC's on. This here is just where you charge up from solar. But again, we're gonna to get to that in a minute. And this is an interesting feature. Now, this is how you can actually charge up your, well, they call it an RV charging socket. Greetings from the future. This is me in a few days time from that previous clip. I'm currently talking quietly because I'm stealth camping with Victoria in the motorhome outside. Well, I won't tell you that because you'll see it in a few videos time, but all powers have got back to me about that socket. It's basically for charging an American RV, but I did say that for UK vehicles, motorhomes and camper vans, you can just charge them through the standard plug sockets that they have on the unit. It's very windy and noisy here. So I'm gonna send you back in the past to previous me if that makes sense. Every single one of these power stations can be charged in three different ways. First of all, you can charge it from the 12 volt socket in your vehicle. I'd only recommend to do that whilst you're actually driving because otherwise you might flatten your main battery. The second way is through solar panels and I will get to that in a minute because I've actually got some of the solar panels here to show you. And the third way is the quickest way and that's just through a main socket in your house or if you're cheeky like me in Costa Coffee. Now I'm gonna speak to all of these companies before I put this video out so if there is any deals or discounts to be had, they'll be down in the description below along with the links to these products. And just before we get on with the rest of this video, I just wanna quickly show you the solar panels. So here I've actually got a solar panel from Bluetti and I've got one from All Powers as well. Now I do have EcoFlow solar panels that I've used in previous videos, but they are in my van that is not this motorhome. But they work on a similar principle. They fold out and they've got a stand which comes with them and you can just prop them up outside your van on the grass and charge up during the day. I'll be honest, I'm actually loving this one already, how compact this is. Oh yes, it's got kickstands all along it. That's actually a really good design. Some solar panels are really difficult to work with, when in theory, they should all be really simple, but this one looks like it's done a good job. Oh, what's this look? Have they given me some sweeties, Victoria? No, oh, that's the charging lead. So that's just the standard MC4 connector, which is good. And I really like that. I'm actually gonna start using that because it's nice and neat and compact. So this is the All Powers. 
And to be honest, it looks like the exact same system as the Bluetti one. There's a variety. Of, oh, that's pretty good. So they're giving you different leads for different power stations. Some power stations use these connectors. These ones have just got a crocodile clip, so you can connect that to any sort of leisure battery or car battery. You might even be able to use that to jumpstart your car with solar. Don't quote me on that, but you'd certainly be able to charge up your car battery if you break down, providing it's sunny. That's pretty good. I like that they've included that. This is your standard connector that most power stations take. And there's a whole variety of different adapters there as well. So yeah, I'm really impressed with that solar panel from All Powers. And then it's just got the standard MC4 connectors on there as well. Oh, it's massive. Look at that. So yes, I would use this as well. I really like the design of these bits because it's just so much easier than some other brands that I've seen. So I hope all that information was useful to you guys. There will be links down in the description below. And other than that, I think it's time to get back on with the adventure. The heating is just working a treat. Those gas bottles have just lasted and lasted. So the first night we only put the heating on a timer to come in in the morning. Last night we thought we'd push it and we left the heating on all night and the gas is still going strong. We've cooked, Touch we've heated feet. up the water. And tonight we're gonna to leave the heating running full blast. We're basically testing the limit of that canister. Yeah. And we got a spare. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there are people parking outside in Ugh, our spot. Get out our horse. What are we gonna do about it, Adam? I'll show you. First of all, do you like my slippers? This is how homely I've made myself. My jacket is bright yellow on the inside, so I reckon if I turn it inside out, I'm gonna look like a security guard. <laughs> Either that or a knob. Giant pineapple. We definitely need to have a little tidy up of this establishment. <laughs> what do I look like? Do I look like some sort of security? No. I'm just gonna go and shine this around, pretending I'm doing some checks out there. Yeah, well, no need, Victoria. <laughs> left. Just the look at that hideous outfit that they've gone. <laughs> No, I'm only joking. I was going to go and greet the neighbours. I like people if they're part of the motorhome and van life scene. I would have offered them a sausage. I have been meaning to compliment you on your hooded top, <laughs> Victoria. What is that? What does it say? That is an amazing logo. We have got our first... Oh, I don't even want to say it. Our first motorhome life chore. Oh, I know what that is. We've got to empty the toilet. Oh. Should we tell them what happened on the first night when your piss went on my face? <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell them. It went all over both of us, thank you. And it wasn't all over us. It was horrendous. It wasn't. We had to call Darren for help <laughs> and all he done was laugh. But we now know how to use the toilet. We do. But that doesn't mean there is an infinite chamber of... You're <laughs> idle. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wet myself. Anyway, Anywho. we've got to sort this chore out. The good thing is, we've only been using it for number ones. All right, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Be a serious matter. We genuinely do have to empty the toilet. All right, sweet. Well, uh, good luck. I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, what do you mean? no, it's ninety percent no, yours. No, 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 no. Are you ready, Victoria? Can't remember what he said to do. Well, pull it out first. I would love to help, but I've got my hands full. <laughs> right, we didn't put any of that blue gear in at the beginning like he told us to. So inside there is 100% raw, uncut, pure, premium <laughs> urine. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, it's got a handle. It's like a suitcase at the... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It's like a suitcase at the airport. Yeah. Look at that. You just look like a holiday maker. Right, let's right, go. Come on, let's go to security. <laughs> what a lovely day for a walk. It's a glamorous lifestyle. Now, unfortunately, legally, no, I'm Adam, not allowed to go now. any further. Get in there. So I can't. You can. I'm not allowed. You're it's not a... allowed to assume genders anymore, I oh, don't yeah. know. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, it's not very clean. Now, I thought you looked were clean. Why is there sweet wrappers on the floor? <laughs> Has someone been in it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it had popped open. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I thought it popped open. What, like on day one when it got us in the face? <laughs> Cut it's your blue. ears at home, ladies. It's blue. It's blue? Yeah, it just looks like... Well, you need to go to a doctor. <laughs> they must have already no, put blue stuff in it. No, he must have put some it. blue stuff in it for us. 
Oh, this is lovely. It smells great. What do you mean it smells great? Let me have a whiff. It smells like you know, <laughs> nice chemical. Mm. We're going to stay in this car park tonight again. Oh, I haven't paid yet. I've got to pay on the app. A tenner. But that means I'm not paying for tomorrow day, so we've got to get out of here at 8.30 a.m. We're not good at doing mornings, early mornings. Have I ever shown the guys the tea towel turkey? No. <gasps> do it, do it. We've got to give her a fold, and then we've got to tweak these ends out like this. Are you ready for this? Ta da <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. <coughs> Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna work, I can feel it. Ta da! <laughs> if there was anything worth subscribing to a channel for, that was it. Naboo! I will go and shut the curtain. <laughs> My sock got caught in the duvet. The davit. Davit. Because the curtain's wonky. It's That's making everything all wonky on the screen. The curtain <laughs> 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 Still got the motorhome for another three or four days, so there should be at least one more episode in this beast before we go back to the micro camper. I just want to say, as always, a massive thank you to everybody who's donated to the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description below. You're all a bunch of living legends. Legends! And of course, I just want to say another massive thank you to Oak Tree Motorhomes for lending us this thing. Honestly, I'm so grateful and I highly recommend their business. It is not only voted number one in the country, it is just an incredible experience for the people buying from there. The after sales is amazing and just all round, what a company. We're gonna go and top up with fuel, get the all needed energy drink and figure out where to go next. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. But for now, we're gonna leave it here so I can concentrate on driving this ferocious tank around oh, the corners. Thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Yes, we will. <laughs>